Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. This is 1987 Mercedes-Benz 300D and when you turn off the key in, in ignition the engine doesn't stop, it doesn't shut off. So let's go and see together how you diagnose this problem. The injection pump on this model of the OM603 engine is being still shut off by the vacuum shut-off valve. So basically I will start with checking my vacuum system. And I know that this valve supplies the vacuum for the ignition lock. Basically it's using this brown vacuum line which you keep seeing here going into the engine compartment and then it's coming back through here and here you can see it again and it's entering that shut-off valve and looking on this shut-off valve I can see it's the original one so I actually immediately suspect that the problem is here and not for example in the ignition lock valve. I can start the diagnosis with using my vacuum gauge and checking all the areas which are supplying the vacuum for the sufficient vacuum or I can skip all of it and use my vacuum pump hook it direct to the valve and see if it's bad. Just for sake of having fun let's start with the first step checking the vacuum amount which we are getting from that main line right here. And I have disconnected that brown line and you can see we have a perfect amount of vacuum supplied here so there's no problem with the vacuum supply. So my next step I will go ahead and connect this gauge right in front of the shut-off valve and I will go ahead turn off the engine and we will see if it will hold the vacuum. The engine is off and you can see the vacuum is there. So basically coming through the ignition lock all the way to the shut-off valve we have perfect vacuum. So basically our measurements confirmed what we were saying in the beginning. That the shut-off valve is the bad. If you still have any doubts you can apply your vacuum pump to the shut-off valve and you can pump the vacuum and see if it holds the vacuum and you can see here it's not able going all the way up it's staying low and the lever moves but it leaks immediately so that's another way to find out that the valve is bad and needs to be replaced and just to show you comparison how the vacuum looks with the new valve this is a brand new part and I will use that hand pump again and pump it up and create a vacuum and look this is the movement of the valve and look the vacuum is steady it's not leaking and this is how it's supposed to be. So that was a diagnosis of vacuum system including that shut-off valve. And now we found out what is our problem, which part fail. The next step is replacing that injection pump shut-off valve. And that will be part of another video which you can find on this diesel mercedes channel 
So please stay tuned or even better subscribe because way more videos are coming very soon. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.